Hi everybody, I'm back. Welcome to my, my blog. Unemployed at, or laid off at 58. I haven't been uploading in the last few weeks. And partly because I have been filming, um, I just haven't liked what I've been filming. And part of the reason I haven't liked what I've been filming is because of the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room is anger. To be quite honest, I hadn't actually dealt with the anger of being laid off. Um, so summarily, summar given the boot, and it, it was coloring everything I was doing without me actually saying it. And I didn't think I was being honest, and that's one of my issues is I have to be honest in all things. And it was just so hurtful. I wanted to say that I gave it two days and said, that's it, I'm, I'm moving forward. And in many respects, I have. But I realized it wasn't being fair to the people I was talking to who've been laid off. And um, since starting this vlog, vlog uh, I've had people reach out to me and tell me their stories. And it is hurtful. The injustice of it, the, the coldness of it, um, the lack of any future foresight on the part of the companies is what staggers me as well. I mean, these CEOs, these, these smaller companies, bigger companies, it doesn't matter which, are acting like 1950s CEOs. They're just getting rid of the people in the middle, as per usual. And I don't think people understand how devastating it is, but also from a business point of view, how bad it is for the companies. I mean, it looks great in the short term. You got rid of all of the people that you consider expensive and they're easy to get rid of, right? Um, they're not the early retirements where you have to pay retirement and a bunch of other things. Uh, they can just pff, give you your severance package and out you go. One person that reached out to me last week, uh, I couldn't even believe. Been with the company over 15 years. Five minute conversation. Severance package was one week a, um, a year. How cold is that? One week a year. For somebody who would literally crawl to get to work. Gave up weekends, gave up evenings, worked extra hours, did extra training, sold the brand. And they're saying, yeah, can you sign the form that says we parted as friends? Seriously? I will never again use that product. Now, I've not been given permission to give out this company's name, but I can tell you right now, I will never again use their product, and I used it a lot. And they were a very environmentally friendly company. They were a company that was all about the environment and all about the work experience and all about the whatever. And then what did they do to a long-term employee? Shove them out in the middle of COVID. Another person? Manager walked in and said, we're not in sync anymore. Here's your papers. What is that? That, that was the reasoning. We're not in sync anymore. As a manager, that's your fault. That is 100% your fault. If you're having communication issues, if you're having learning issues, if you're having issues with your staff, then you sit down and you have conversations with them. You put together plans. You figure out how you're going to go forward. You're figuring out what the issue is and how that issue has to be dealt with. We're not in sync anymore in the middle of COVID. That's cold. That's just plain cold. So as you can see, I've not actually dealt with the injustice at all. So I thought, okay, before I go on, we're going to talk about the anger. We're going to talk about the feelings that you're going to have. You're going to be in shock. I couldn't taste anything. I couldn't smell anything. I didn't know what to do next. And just the hurtfulness. I mean, here's a company that I had given weekends to, evenings. I had changed when I took my vacations. 
And because I didn't have anybody in my corner, I got the boot. I got the boot because they looked at my wages and they looked at my age and they looked at that and said, she's gone. Next. And the thing is, they've done it repeatedly. And I think what I'm also dealing with is I got suckered. I listened. And I thought they were a company of integrity. Not understanding or forgetting that companies don't have integrity. Not when it comes to the bottom line. When it comes to we're cutting, there are no friends. There is no mercy. There is no anything. It, 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 you are a number. And numbers don't have integrity. <clears throat> numbers are just something they have to get to to get to the bottom line that they need. And I bought into the idea of family, which is my own fault. I mean, I'm of an age, I've worked for enough companies to know that there is no such thing as family when it comes to corporations. There is not. Whether they say they can't afford it or when push comes to shove, you get pushed and shoved. There isn't. So I have to deal with that. I have to journal it. I have to move on. I have to let it not scar me. Do I get wiser? Yes, because you always get wiser. Or hopefully you get wiser. But you have to move on. So I suggest you journal it. Use whatever language you like. Just rip it out. Write, 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 write. And if you really want to get involved, write it with the opposite hand that you're used to writing with. So if you're right-handed, you write with the left. If you're left, you write with the right. And what happens is you're so busy trying to learn how to make the letters, you're not focusing on what's coming up. It's just all coming up. And then you burn it. Shred it, burn it, flush it. Whatever you need to do, you get rid of it. You never look at it again. And it gets it out of your head. And that's important. You've got to get it out of your head. Because you have to get strong. And there is no justice for this. There is nothing that's going to make it better. There's no silver lining to what these companies are doing. They're seeing an out. And if you think it's COVID, if you think it's the downturn in the oil industry, if you think it's the downturn in the retail market, if you think it's whatever, it's not. I can tell you that, right? It's not. Because they've been doing this consistently since the 80s. At one time, retail was a profession. You, you went in and you became the store's retail. You went to Mr. Smith. You went to Mrs. Jones and she knew everything about you. She knew your size. She knew what she liked. She knew what the Mrs. liked. She knew what the Mr. liked. Everybody knew they were skilled, skilled labor. They were salesmen. And then they decided it could be cheaper. We'll get rid of all of those people. We won't have to have retirement plans. We won't have to, we'll get, we'll get young people in. And young people, you're being used and abused. You're being thrown into situations, given monikers, and told that you're something, so you work all the hours God made. But understand what's against you is age, is time. As you become into your mid-30s, you're getting, you're getting vulnerable. When the time you hit 40, you're getting very vulnerable. When you hit 50, you're very, very vulnerable. So I suggest to all the young people, and I, I've been telling to everybody else, and I really suggest it to you guys, get your bags packed. And what's in those bags? Savings accounts. So it's nice to have the new cars after you come out of college. It's nice to have the new condos. It's nice to have. Gee, isn't it nice that we can go out for every meal? We don't have to cook it. I'm telling you right now, you need to be saving up to a year's worth of wages in a savings account that is not your investment account. This is money that you can go to for when your time is coming. And I'm telling you right now, your time is coming. Because every company is doing the same things. 
the same things they've done over and over again. So you can't say, oh, it's just this. It's not just this. It's not even cyclical. If it was cyclical, it would be longer in, it, in its circle. And it's not. It is not. So you have to prepare yourself mentally and physically. You have to understand that you are a number and it sounds harsh. And they're going to say, but we're family. We look after each other. You have made an agreement to work for this company to do this set of tasks on this amount of hours for this job. That's all it is. Anything above and beyond that is fluff. It can go away at any time. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, people calculate their money the wrong way. So if you're getting a job and they say things to you like, you know, we're going to pay you extra because we know you're putting in that extra time. So you calculate that extra time. Your salary is based on an eight-hour day. So if you're making $50 an hour for an eight-hour day, that's a nice sum of money. But if you're actually working 14 hours a day, that's less money. If you're working consistently 14 hours a day, it's not a 40-hour week, is it? It's a much bigger week. And then throw in the Saturdays that you work and the Sundays that you work. And all of a sudden, you're not making that amount of money. So it sounds good, but you're working for a lot less. And people have to start putting that into their calculations. They have to decide what they're going to pay and what they're going to do for this money. Because these companies are asking you to work your evenings and your weekends and give up your vacations and work on your vacations. And it's not a good time now to take your time off. But we're family. And we'll stick with you like you stuck with us. So I'm angry. I have to admit, all the vlogging I did last week helped a lot. I basically used it as a video journal where I could talk about, this is nasty, it's cold, it's very cold. And to have bought into it, which is my fault, I actually believed them. So it hurt more. It hurt more that nobody was looking after me as I was looking after them. So I'm telling you folks, you gotta deal with the anger and keep them laid off. Young people, you really have to get set up to be laid off because you're going to be, probably a number of times now. And as we move into more technology, and I'll be getting into that, I've got one called Beating the Bots coming up um, on how to apply for these, this work that's out there. You have to be prepared. You really, there's going to be nobody to look after you. So you need to put, keep your debts down Keep your savings accounts high. If you're not in that situation, then you need to get there. You need to decide quickly. Do you need those cups of coffee? Do you need those meals out? This is YouTube. You can go on to YouTube at any time <clears throat> and learn how to cook. Anything from how to boil water. It's out there. You have to prepare yourself for being unemployed. Because that's going to be the name of the game from now on. And for these companies, how could you be getting rid of the middle again? Seriously, who thinks of this? You're hiring young people, trained but inexperienced, and you have people who are retiring. Look at the company, 30, 40, sometimes 50 years. These two groups don't talk to each other, in case you haven't noticed. They're the least able to communicate, those age groups. And you got nothing in the middle. Because the few that are left in the middle are 
tired and scared. They don't have, you know, if they were working evenings and weekends, now they're working 24-7 just to keep their jobs, to make up for all of the talent you've left out into the universe. And if you need to sleep at night and you like to say things like, well, they're all talented, they'll all get work. Is that who you're hiring? Are you hiring inexperienced and young so you can pay them less and work them to death until you lay them off again? It's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. And by the way, CEOs, did you get your bonuses this year? staying in the black by getting rid of people? Is that how you decide this is what you are? This is how good I am? I get my bonus? When you cause suffering to thousands? Shame on you. Shame on you. So yes, there's anger out there. I have it. Apparently, I still have it. And I have to deal with that. I have to go forward. I have to get it out of my system. And I have to figure that out. So, exercise, eating properly, talking, talk to people, don't internalize it, don't get bitter. Understand it probably was not you. I mean, there might have been a few people that had to go, but honest to God, it was not you. And rise above. In my next vlogs, I'm going to be talking about bots and algorithms, depression, depression's big guy. So I've got a whole one just on depression because I think it's a big enough topic now and it's something that's scary. We have to, we have to deal with that. You also have to get into the right mindset to, um, to, to do your job applications and I'll tell you why in, in those vlogs. So this was not a pretty blog. This was not a pleasant blog. This was not, it's a hard one to give. There's a lot less swearing in the ones that I've been doing in the past weeks. So I think I've got most of that out of my system. I am pulling for you guys. I hope these are helping. I really do. Because I mean, that's why I started them was to help. Was to let people know that they weren't by themselves. They weren't on their own. But it's a lot of processing. It's a lot of processing. So you gotta deal with the anger, the disappointment, the injustice of it all. And you can be paid to have those things go away. I mean, if the companies were smart, they weren't giving them the base rate, which is a week, a year, honest to God. Who does that? And then said, can you please sign the form that says we part as friends? Yeah, really. A lot of the companies are giving go away money. Fundamentally. And it's not the money. It's, it's not that here's your money and, you know, go on and have a good life. It, it, the hurt. The disappointment. You're being kicked out of the team for nothing you did. It's your time to go. You can't play in our sandbox anymore. We have other people to play in our sandbox and it's not you. That's the hurtful part. Is it just or unjust? life and if you're going to be dealing with a corporation of any size it's going to happen because these guys they don't care they honest to god do not care they move on with business and trust me two weeks later they don't remember your name which is also a hurtful thing so this is when you get strong internally bring that anger out get rid of it it's no good for you. And move on. And I'm sorry. I did not start with that because I was going to be strong. I was going to put it aside. And I couldn't. And I shouldn't have. So maybe this should have been the first block. Instead of the seventh or eighth or something in there. But it's out now. So. We'll be dealing with other things. How to beat the bot? How to beat the algorithm? 
that also falls down to looking good is the best revenge. <laughs> Probably the next one will be on depression and anger. Or, sorry, anger's been done. It'll be on depression. Um, because I think there's a lot of it out there. There's a lot of fear out there. And people need to talk. And I'll be putting up a lot of links to where they can. So, this is my latest vlog. Again, it's not the cheeriest one. Hopefully it'll get better. But there'll be a few more coming along the way. So, you'll probably see three or four because I got held up by not dealing with the anger. So now that I have, I'm back on schedule. I'll talk to you later. I'm Jean.